Ooh, welcome man, welcome back to the channel, man. I'm at well y'all can see where I'm at. I'm at AutoZone. I gotta go ahead and get some brake pass for a PT cruiser, guys. I have a front rear brake job and a front brake job actually. He won them both sides, guys, so this is a quick I don't know, a couple hundred bucks maybe. Depending on depending on um what the parts cost. Okay, I'm couple hundred bucks that's total with parts and labor i'm only i only do 50 for this guy not everybody i only do 50 dollars per axle 50 front but i'm not turning rotors i'm <laughs> replacing rotors so now on the rear it's gonna be a little expensive i haven't decided yet but guys what i want to see i i had a friend a, a friend girl call me uh she's talking about she saw somewhere she got a <laughs> Go figure. A minivan with a, a 3.6 in it. It's ticking. Okay, nothing shocking about that. Oh, it's over here. Okay. Uh, not really at all. But what's shocking to me is she say she bought some ticking be gone. <laughs> some kind of additive that she can put in her engine that will stop the tick. Literally stop the tick from happening. Okay, I tried to explain to her. Some people, it don't matter how you explain. They ain't going to, they they ain't, first of all, they ain't going to understand you. Second of all, they ain't trying to hit it. Because, and I don't blame them. They're trying to avoid or trying to mentally think that it's not, there's no reason to repair the engine because there's nothing wrong with the engine. It's just the oil. And that's okay to think that. But the supplement, oh damn, listen to me, supplement. But the additive that she mentioned was supposedly to uh quiet down the engine stop ticking noise okay and she said it's lifetime warranty so in other words if it didn't fix it or she can get her money back now i can't remember if she said auto zone or advanced auto they pretty much the same type store so what one have the other should have now i don't see anything that says stop tick okay and i ain't even sure if that's what she meant she's just you know how you go in a parts store guys you grab something and, it's, and it had this fancy heading on it guaranteed to stop your tick <laughs> so you go really guaranteed oh wow let me get this because my car ticking <sighs> well uh needless to say she still have the tick uh i'm not sure how she's gonna get her money back uh, is that even possible? I know they say money back guarantee, but they take you through so many loops to where you just give up. <laughs> Maybe that's what they count on for you. Just such such stuff like this, guys. I, I tickle when I see guaranteed to pass. Based on what? Okay, emission system cleaner. This I assume you pour this in your gas tank or your crankcase. I don't know how this works. Obviously, the fuel tank because I got pictures of valve. Now, if you failing for reasons like this, uh, five the five gas analyzer would pick this stuff up, guys. Pretty much nowadays, from from twenty oh for two throughout two thousand eight and up, the computer doing all your testing. You don't need a that's no need for five gas analyzer anymore. The computer is pretty much self contained, guys. So it's doing all the testing. It's gonna even test your fuel cap okay in the form of uh if uh if your car is equipped with what is they call it uh evap system leak tester if your computer has that option it will perform that test for you so the mere reason why inspection or inspectors get out and check your gas cap is because they don't know if your car is equipped with that or not so they physically have to check it out and see if your gas tank holding holding uh those vapors inside i've used this before you know this uh this will shut up a shutter or stop a shutter from happening it's all temporarily guys everything in here is temporary you don't put this stuff in your car thinking it's gonna last forever it's just to get you by but uh this right here this is kind of misleading and i ain't here to knock any product guys like i say you never know the <laughs> same product you're knocking may need you to sponsor or may want to sponsor you and get you to sell some of their product so this is corporate America we live in, guys. You gotta, you gotta leave yourself open. So I'm not here to knock any name brand additive. I just wanted to see if the product that she got out of here 
was here because I merely wanted to read it. Uh, guys, you got to understand something about an engine tick noise. I hear people talking about Lucas all the time. Y'all know I'm in a dealer, so I don't get to use much of any of these additives. But let me let me finish. You know, as far as the ticking noise goes, I'm not sure there's any kind of oil additive you can add to it that will <laughs> stop a ticking if and it's the key word if your ticking is a result of a broken part uh let's use the three six pentastar for example <laughs> they, they have a problem with rocker arms if that rocker arm is broken it don't really matter if you add all of this <laughs> in your crankcase it's not gonna shut that broken rocker arm up okay so that's why i wanted to read the stuff that she got i wanted to see what it says on the fine print Okay, now sure, if your ticking is a result of a lifter or spongy lifter or things like that, uh, valve train lifters, lash adjusters, stuff like that, yes, an oil additive can help quiet that down. So yes, don't, from that standpoint, yes, it would help. But anytime you got broken valve train parts, <sighs> additive is not going to really help. And like I say, the PT or the Pinstar is known for uh, breaking rock on a broken rock arm. So the additives are not going to help that. Okay, t listen to look at this engine break-in oil additive designed for hot rods, classic cars, race engine. The Lucas engine oil stop leaks. I have a hard time <sighs> believing how any oil additive can stop an oil leak i guess it is soften the seals and help the seals seal better but i have no problem with let me get this straight all you companies i have no problem with this okay if you're looking for a sponsor <laughs> now i'm sounding contradictory right so let me uh what i want why don't i just shut up how about that jt shut your mouth before you say something oh my goodness how is this possible before you say something oh my goodness how is this possible y'all see this permanent head gasket and block repair forget the fact if you got a split right here in your head gasket your head gasket is blown forget that this will permanently heal that this is miracle you would think this miracle liquid let me see yes that's liquid pour this in your cooling system and this will permanently uh fix your head gasket oh my goodness y'all see that let me get closer <laughs> so I paid $30 for this. I put it in my cooling system and my head gasket is still blown. I'm still giving out blown head gasket symptoms. Double your money back. Will they give me $60 back? <laughs> let me stop. Oh, let me go and get these brake pads, man. I've been in here too long. Um, <laughs>